Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang formal definition of the definite integral. So make sure na napanood mo na yung lesson bago ito, which is all about uh, area approximation using the Riemann sum para mas madali mong maintindihan ang topic natin ngayon. Okay? So magsimula tayo rito sa ating illustration kung paano mag-approximate ng area of the region. Okay? Sa previous lesson, pinag-aralan natin yung left, right, at midpoint Riemann sum. Okay? So let's say we have here the graph of a curve or the, the graph of the function f of x. And then yung delta x natin dito is yung width ng, dap, ng bawat rectangle na ating idodraw. Okay? That is by the Riemann sum. Okay? So... Yung ating area of the Riemann sum, makukompute natin siya by multiplying or by getting the sum of f of x sub i asterisk or ito yung partition points, okay, times delta x which is the width of the rectangle. So, bakit tayo may asterisk dito? Dahil depende iyan kung iyan ba ay left, right, or midpoint Riemann sum. So, we have here, in general, A is equal to summation of f of x sub i asterisk delta x where i is from 1 to n. Yung n natin is yung bilang ng rectangle or sub interval. So, this is the area of those rectangles. Paano natin kukomputin yung actual area or exact area ng region na ito? Kapag pinaliit natin ang pinaliit yung rectangles natin, that means uh, dadami yung ating sub intervals which is n. Okay? So, for example, it ganito kalaki yung rectangles natin, pero kapag pinaliit pa natin siya katulad nito, okay, at kinuha natin yung area, so meron na tayong 8 uh, sub-intervals here, at kapag pinaliit pa natin siya into 16 sub-intervals, and so on, and so forth, sabihin kapag uh, dumami ng dumami yung ating sub-intervals, or if n approaches infinity, then we will get the exact area of this region. So, the exact area of the region between the x-axis and the curve is equal to the limit of the Riemann sum. Itong summation na ito, dun sa una nating formula, is the Riemann sum. Okay, so lagyan natin siya ng A sub R. Okay, area of the Riemann sum. And if we get the uh, limit of the Riemann sum, then we will get the exact area of the region Okay, as n approaches infinity. So, from this, we have the limit of the Riemann sum is equal to the definite integral denoted by integral of f of x dx from x is equal to a to x is equal to b. So, ang tawag natin dito is the lower limit. Ang tawag natin dito sa b is the upper limit. So, take note na ang makokompute natin dito sa definite integral na ito is the net area. So, papag-aaralan natin sa mga susunod na lesson kung paano makukuha yung actual area of the region bounded by the curve. Have the limit of the Riemann sum as n approaches infinity is equal to the definite integral uh, integral of f of x dx from x is equal to a to x is equal to b. Okay? So, for example, express limit of uh, summation of x sub i square plus 1 delta x uh, where i is from 1 to n as an integral on this interval 1, 5. Okay, so from here, we have the function f of x is equal to x square plus 1. So, yung x sub i natin dito, pinalitan lang natin siya ng x. So, since we have here the function and we have, this, we have here the interval kung saan we have a is, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5, then this is equal to the definite integral. Integral of, ang f of x natin is x square plus 1 dx from x is equal to 1 or from 1 to 5. So, this limit of the Riemann sum is equal to this definite integral. Next example, express the area bounded by f of x is equal to x square plus x minus 9 and the x-axis from x is equal to negative 2 to x is equal to 8 as a definite integral. So, from this example, meron na agad tayong function which is f of x Okay, is equal to uh, x square plus x minus 9. And then, yung ating interval dito is yung negative 2 to 8. Wherein, a is equal to negative 2 and then b is equal to 8. So, the definite integral is uh, integral of uh, x square plus x minus 9 dx from negative 2 to 8. So, this is the answer. 
Next example number 3, babalik tayo naman natin siya. Express integral of x squared dx from 1 to 4 as a limit of a Riemann sum. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is yung x, papalitan lang natin siya ng x sub i. And then, ipalit natin siya rito. Okay? So, we have a limit of summation of uh, x square will, will become x sub i square and then delta x where i is from 1 to n as n approaches infinity on the interval 1, 4. So, this is the limit of the Riemann sum. Okay, so itong a natin is 1 and then yung b natin is 4. These are the endpoints of the interval. So, let's have the next example. Compute the area of integral of x plus 7 dx from 1 to 5 using the definition of the definite integral as a limit of a sum. So, first, let us rewrite this definite integral as a limit of a Riemann sum. So, a is equal to limit of summation of x sub i plus 7 delta x where i is from 1 to 10 as n approaches infinity. So, yung x, ginawa lang natin siyang x sub i and then ang ating interval is 1, 5. Okay? Kasi ito yung ating lower limit and then 5 yung ating upper limit. So, let us first solve for delta x. So, delta x is equal to 5 minus 1. Ito yung endpoints ng interval over n. Wala naman tayong bilang ng subintervals. We just uh, let uh, n as it is. Okay? Kasi nga n approaches infinity rito. So, is equal to 4 over n. And then, the partition points x sub i, ang ginamit ko rito is the right Riemann sum. To get each partition points of the right Riemann sum, we have the formula x sub i is equal to x sub 0 plus i delta x. Okay, so think of this as uh, the arithmetic sequence, the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, wherein x sub 0 is the first term plus delta x, ito yung ating common difference, and then i is the order of the partition point. Yes. Bakit? Uh, x sub 0 plus i delta x. Okay, yung x sub 0 kasi natin dito is yung 1, the left end point of the interval. Kaya meron tayo rito 1 plus i. Okay, ito yung order of the partition point kasi nga hindi natin isasama rito yung 1. Kaya meron agad tayo rito 1 plus. Okay, ito yung ipa-plus natin. i times the common difference delta x where in delta x is equal to 4 over n. Okay, so we have here 1 plus 4i over n. Next, uh, let us take note of the following na ating gagamitin mamaya. So, limit of 1 over n as n approaches infinity. This is the limit of a rational uh, function as n approaches infinity here is equal to 0. Okay? And then we have here the, pros, the properties of sigma notation. So, sig, uh, summation of 1 where i is from 1 to n is equal to n. And summation of i where i is from 1 to n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Let us uh, first solve for the Riemann sum. Okay, so summation of x sub i plus 7 where i is from 1 to n is equal to... Hindi ko na rito babanggitin yung where i is from 1 to n para mabilis tayo. Okay, summation of 1 plus 4i over n. Saan natin nakuha yung 1 plus 4i over n? So this one is x sub i. Okay, ito yon. Okay, so x sub i galing siya rito sa... Itong 1 plus 4i over n is galing dito sa x sub i. Okay? So, next, uh, plus 7. Ito yon Mag plus lang tayo ng 7. Okay? So, mag plus lang tayo ng 7. Ito yon And then, times delta x. So, meron pa itong delta x dito. Okay? Where in delta x is 4 over n. Okay? So, next, we have summation of, i-simplify natin ito, 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Okay, plus 4i over n times 4 over n. And then we have 8 times 4 over n is 32 over n. Then multiply din natin ito sa 4 over n. We have 16i over n square. Next, using the property of sigma, uh, paghiwalay natin yung dalawa. So summation of 32 over n plus summation of 16i over n square. Yung expressions na may n, ilalabas natin siya kasi nga we take it as a constant. Kasi ang ating at take dito as variable is yung i. Okay? So, magiging 32 over n using the property of sigma notation again. Summation of 1 plus 16 over n square summation of i. Okay? And then, meron tong equivalent, tong part na ito. So, that is 
uh, 32 over n times n plus 16 over n square and then ito may equivalent na rin katulad ng sinabi ko kanina that is equal to uh, n times n plus 1 over 2 okay so next uh, we have to cancel this magiging 32 na lang siya plus uh, cancel itong n at n square matitiray n and then cancel itong 16 at saka 2 magiging 8 siya okay 8 ito okay So, next, meron tayo ritong 32, okay, plus 8 over n times n is 8, plus 8 over n times 1 is 8 over n. So, 32 plus 8 is equal to 40, plus 8 over n, okay? So, this expression, ito, okay, so, x sub i plus 7 delta x, summation niya, where i is from 1 to n, is equal to 40 plus 8 over n. So, ito yung kukunin nating limit as n approaches infinity. So, From that, we have a limit of uh, 40 plus 8 over n as n approaches infinity is equal to, using the limit loss, okay, so paghiwalay natin siya, limit of 40 as n approaches infinity plus a uh, limit of 8 over n as n approaches infinity. Okay, is equal to, uh, constant ito kaya siya ay 40, plus, ilabas natin yung 8. So, 8 limit of 1 over n as n approaches infinity. Okay, is equal to, from the property kanina, ito yon Okay, limit of 1 over n as n approaches infinity is equal to 0. So, therefore, we have 40 plus 8 times 0 is equal to 40. Okay, so therefore, integral of x plus 7 dx From 1 to 5 is equal to 40. Okay? So, hindi na ako magbibigay ng another example dito. So, pinakita ko lang dito yung definition, yung formal definition ng ating definite integral where inakuha natin siya dun sa limit of the Riemann sum. Okay? So, medyo mahaba yung solution natin dito where in fact, sa susunod na lesson natin sa fundamental theorem of calculus, madali lang i-evaluate ang given na ganito. So sa next lesson, i-discuss ko yung uh, mabilis na paraan kung paano ma-evaluate ma yung given na ganito without using the limit of the Riemann sum. Okay, so that is by the fundamental theorem of calculus. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye!